Hey everybody, it's Jeff from New York and today we are back in beautiful Atlantic City on the iconic historic Atlantic City boardwalk, pretty much center boardwalk. We're going to check out Caesars Hotel and Casino today, but first we're going to stop off at the Wild Wild West Casino, uh, which is owned by Caesars, and then we'll head actually into the uh, Caesars Hotel from there. The Wild Wild West is also accessible from Bally's Hotel and Casino right next door via a pedestrian walkway. And like I said, it connects Wild Wild West to Bally's. So if you want to go from one to the other, that's very easy regardless of the weather. Caesars sold off Bally's a little over a year ago and uh, they kept the Wild Wild West. So this is still part of the Caesars property here in Atlantic City. The website says the Wild Wild West is a western edge to the eastern shore. Pull up a chair and grab a drink at a saloon, find the ultimate sports betting experience, and enjoy live entertainment from Thursday to Saturday weekly. It's all about fun at the Wild Wild West. Here you're surrounded by western style buildings, the smell of barbecue fill the air, and ice cold drinks are always on the ready at the saloon. Discover live music and Buck Wild Arcade, an immersive sports book, and more. This lively spot has it all. I made it a point to visit every sports book on the uh, Atlantic City boardwalk during Super Bowl Sunday, and this by far was the most busiest, most fun place to visit on Super Bowl Sunday. Actually, we're heading over to that sports book here at the Wild Wild West right now, so let's check it out, shall we? As you can see, during the week this place is pretty quiet actually. They have live entertainment on Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays when it comes alive. But other than that, not too many people. A few at the bar, a couple at the slot machines, and one or two people, or maybe more than that here at the sports book. The sports book, like I said, is huge. Kind of reminds me, I don't know why, I think it's just because of the, the massiveness of the screens and, and the chairs, the way they're laid out. Kind of reminds me of the Westgate in Las Vegas. Not the Circa, but the Westgate. And again, I was here Super Bowl Sunday. This place was mob, live entertainment, standing room only. Everyone was on their feet cheering for their teams. I had a great time here that day. Right by that huge sports book is the pedestrian walkway that I spoke to you earlier about that leads right to Bally's. And now we're going through the slot machine parlor here at the Wild Wild West in our efforts to eventually get to Caesars. This is Clarice, the Miss America crown. She's hidden in all my Atlantic City videos. Sometimes she's easy to spot and other times she can be quite elusive. If you spot her, leave a comment below on the timestamp where you found her and you'll get a shout out on an upcoming video. And a shout out to Deborah Camacho who found Mitzi, the rubber ducky showgirl in my latest Las Vegas video, the Venetian Hotel and Casino. Congratulations, Deborah. Nice job and glad to see you're finding them again. I was recently in Vegas and saw the same exact statue, only the one in Vegas was bigger. Of course, everything in Las Vegas is bigger. And I always wondered who that little guy was that's hanging on to Caesar's leg. If you know, leave a comment below. Hey, if you're digging this video, why not give it a thumbs up and while you're at it, subscribe to the New York channel. They're both free. I mean, that's a bargain. It's free. Go ahead, do it. The casino here at Caesars is uh, two levels and we're gonna eventually head downstairs to the uh, first level casino where I plan on playing some electronic roulette. Let's see how I do, stay tuned.
We're heading towards the front desk or the reception area, and on the way we're going to pass a couple shops in the uh, Taza Cafe, which features coffee and pastries and some light bites, and uh, also Gordon Ramsay's Pub and Grill, which is coming up here on the right side. I have never eaten there. I've always made plans. I've had reservations for one reason or another. I had to break them. I don't know. It's not meant for me to eat there, but I'm dying to try the Beef Wellington and compare it to the one in Las Vegas. Gordon Ramsay's supposed to open uh, a Atlantic City version of Hell's Kitchen. It's supposed to open uh, summer of 2022, so it should be uh, not too far off in the distance. And also, Nobu is opening a restaurant here in the summer of 2022 as well. Also on property is KWI or Queen Noodle House. I never know how to pronounce that uh, restaurant's name. Morton's uh, Steakhouse as well as Nero's Italian Steakhouse. And there's a sliced pizzeria upstairs, which is where the buffet used to be. So yeah, Caesars has been around a while and quite honestly, it's starting to look it. It's just getting a little stale if you ask me. Not many changes have been made over the years. They have done some renovations to the rooms upstairs, but as far as the uh, actual hotel and casino downstairs, not much has changed. I think the, uh, the addition of the new Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen as well as the Nobu restaurant are going to freshen things up around here a little bit, but it really could use it. I stayed at Caesars a couple months ago in the Centurion Tower. It was an oceanfront room, a huge room, very beautiful. And uh, again, upstairs, really, they've done a great job renovating a lot of the rooms. But downstairs could use some sprucing up. And by the way, I believe we are in the downstairs casino now. And don't forget, we're going to play some roulette before this video ends. Ooh, ooh.
Coming up on the left is a Asian room here in the Caesars Casino, and directly in front of us is the Kui Noodle House, or KWI again. Don't know how to pronounce it, but the Noodle House offers unique Asian cuisine, combining both familiar and exotic ingredients to create unique taste sensations like the mouth-watering Chilean sea bass seamed in a trinity of soy, scallions, and ginger. That sounds really good. on tight now we're back in the upstairs casino i know i'm jumping around here in this video i apologize for that i'm kind of taking a weird route i don't know why but uh at least you'll get to see everything Now we're one flight above the casino, and this is where Caesar's Buffet used to be. It's no longer here, now they have a pizzeria. In, uh, in a previous video, not too long ago, I mentioned that it didn't look like the pizza would be something I would enjoy. And one of you guys called me out on that and said, don't knock a place unless you tried it. I take constructive criticism very well, and whoever that was, you were absolutely right. So I'm going to try this place. Uh, the website says enjoy an authentically Italian menu featuring stone-fired pizzas, fresh salads, Italian hoagies, daily specials, and refreshing beverages available for eat-in or take-out. I had no idea they even served all that, so yes, I'm coming back and I'm going to try this place. I'll bring the video to you guys shortly. Now we headed downstairs just to go upstairs to Nero. I know it sounds confusing. Again, I'm taking a weird route through this place today, but uh, I apologize for that. But again, you're going to see everything. This is Nero's Italian Steakhouse with an elevated menu of steak, pasta, and seafood. Nero's Italian Steakhouse at Caesars Atlantic City offers oceanside dining in a classic, stylish setting. And again, the views here are fantastic of the boardwalk and the beach and the ocean, of course. And uh, if you're not in the mood for a steak, just stop in for a cocktail. You'll enjoy it. Okay, I'm sorry. I know I promised you guys I'd show you everything here. But somehow during this visit, I missed Morton's Steakhouse, which is considered one of the better steakhouses here in Atlantic City. Morton's Steakhouse at Caesars Atlantic City is renowned for its signature menu and legendary hospitality, setting the highest of standards for its fine steakhouse dining. And right outside Caesars here is uh, Ruth Chris Steakhouse, which is where I had a surprise birthday steak dinner not too long ago, and I really enjoyed the steak there as well. So lots of good steaks in this area. All right, I know I promised you guys some electronic roulette before this video ends. Let's check it out shall we i'm just gonna drop twenty dollars here and you guys know my system with roulette i'm gonna play the first and second dozen i have a two-thirds chance of winning uh one third chance of losing uh except for those of course nasty zeros and double zeros uh, but when you do lose that one third of the time that eats up all your winnings very quickly a new feature on the New York channel is the Super Thanks button, which is close to that thumbs up button that I know you've already clicked on. Clicking on that Super Thanks button not only shows your support for the New York channel, but really helps the channel grow. And doing so will let you leave a colorful comment pinned above all other comments here on this video. So I only put $20 in, so I'm placing $3 bets. I'm putting $3 on the first dozen, $3 on the second dozen. If I win, I win $3. If I lose on that third dozen, I lose $6. So as you see, chances are I'm going to win. But if I lose, I lose really fast. So if the ball drops between 1 and 24, I'm a winner. If the ball drops between 25 or higher, or those nasty zeros, well, you get the picture. I think the key to this strategy is to take the money and run because eventually that last dozen is going to kill you. And for the record, I prefer to sit down at a roulette table, but obviously I can't record. 
So as you can see, I played several spins already. This particular spin, the ball dropped on 12. Again, I played the first and second dozen. The 12 is in the first dozen, obviously. So that was a $6 bet that got me $9 back. And for the sake of this video, I'm gambling small here. So anything over $20 that I win, I'm just going to take the money and leave. Okay, I played a bunch of spins and I've basically broken out even. It's because of that uh, one loss that I had. Again, those losses really do hurt. Let's see if I can just win a couple bucks and then we'll call it a day here. And just to switch things up, I'm playing the second and third dozen here, so anything 13 or over is what I'm looking for now. So I won three spins in a row, and the odds are that I'm going to win again, uh, but when I do lose, it's going to be big. So I'm going to take my three little wins and take my $29 from my initial $20 bet and just uh, buy myself a burger and fries on the boardwalk somewhere. What do you think of this roulette strategy? Leave a comment below.
I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, comment, ask some questions, and most importantly, subscribe by clicking on the button on the left. You can visit all of my New York videos by clicking on the top right, or check out my videos on other favorite places to visit by clicking on the bottom right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around the city.